what what was one of the things that helped you decide that Northwood University was the right place for you? So Taylor, I want you to go ahead and kick that one off. Okay, hi everybody. Um, so what made me choose Northwood, honestly, was the small class sizes. Um, my high school is actually bigger than Northwood. Um, so for me, it was a little nerve wracking at first, but the small class sizes really have helped me to um, know my professors, know my classmates, and really just work with the students and able to learn and grow really easy, for sure. Awesome. And Austin, I'm going to ask you the same question. What was one of the special things that stood out for you and what made Northwood University such a unique place to, to attend school? Good evening, everyone. Uh, honestly, before coming to Northwood, I really didn't know what I wanted to. And Northwood was actually the first campus that I visited on my search for school. And once I came to Northwood, I, I immediately told my Northwood, I was like, wow, this is, the, this is the place I wanted to be. Just the overall view of Northwood's campus. I toured the facilities. Uh, I saw the small class sizes like Taylor mentioned. I overall just fell in love with Northwood. Uh, we are like in the woods, so it's like a little secluded little community. Uh, the campus is what I initially fell in love with. Awesome, and I think Austin's 100% right. I was one of those people where until I stepped on campus, I wasn't sure if it was the place for me, but there's almost like a weird feeling that you get when you step onto our campus for the first time. Like you get the you get a weird vibe. It's hard to explain. But to talk about what Northwood students do a little bit, I'd love to love to kick us off with this next question. What does a typical day in the life of a Northwood student look like? So for this, let's go ahead and start with Dakota, and then we'll have Amy answer the same question afterward. Sweet. Hello, everybody. So usually I wake up, get some breakfast at the uh, bistro, but then I'm ready to go off to class. With classes right now, it's pretty awesome just because, like, it's not a whole lot of class time. It's more just, like, studying for me so I can, like, make sure I get my grades up and stay very dedicated to my studies. But every day I wake up, go to class. After that, go to the gym, come back, study, eat dinner, and then back off to the next day. And I'm able to hang with my friends, so I have a lot of time to do whatever I want to usually. So it's never really stressful for me. And Dakota, you're also in some some organizations too throughout the day. I know you made your day seem kind of simple, but you're you're a busy guy. Tell us a little bit about some of the some of the organizations that you're involved with. Sure, I just like to make it seem a little humble. I don't want to sound like a busybody, but I do go to work for student callers and student tours. So I give tours to uh, prospective students that want to come to Northwood. I also text students so. Some of you in the group today, I might have texted you, see if you want to come to an open house tonight or if you want to come to our campus visits. But I do also do ETR Society, which is Entrepreneurship Society for mostly entrepreneurship majors, but you can also be any other major just trying to learn how to run a business. Also in Ultimate Frisbee and in Collegiate Deca as well. Great. And Amy, again, same question to you. Um, so I'll start with what I'm involved in. Um, I am president for Students for Sustainability. I am an RCA this year, which is a resident and complex advisor. So I oversee two RAs directly and 12 others indirectly on a team, well, with three other RCAs. Um, secretary for Students for Sustainability. I'm dual chair for this year's Stafford Dinner for procurement and fundraising. Kind of all over the place, but that's the thing about Northwood. You get great leadership skills early on. Um, you don't really need that experience to dive right in. Um, my days usually consist of, well, every other week I'm packed. I'm looking at my schedule. I'm setting alarms. Um, but it's it's all manageable. Um, most days wake up, start my day with breakfast like Dakota, <laughs> go to class, look at what's next. I may just stay on campus until that rollover period. But um, yeah, meetings, <laughs> meeting with friends, everything in between. Absolutely. Amy's another one of our very, very, very busy and active students on campus, as with most Northwood students. And that's one thing that's always really unique is you'll find our students, there's, they, get, they get to be really good at time management because even if you come into Northwood and you, you weren't necessarily the best at that, you're involved in so many things, you have no other option but to be good at time management. It's a really good perspective, perspective guys. Um, we did get one question from the audience so far um, that I'd love to be able to to uh, to chat on, and that's, have you ever had an internship? And I think all of us have had really great experiences. So, Taylor, I'm going to start with you, um, and then I'll select one other individual after that to chat on. Okay, cool. 
So I've actually had really great internship experiences, and I give that all thanks to Northwood as uh, actually two out of my three internships came from our career fair. So um, my first internship was at Dilo Industries out in Warren, Michigan, because I'm kind of from um, the greater Detroit area. So I worked as a logistics intern as my major is supply chain. Um, that was from a student referral, actually. So I met a student here at Northwood, um, helped him in a class, helped like tutor him in college algebra. And then he's like, hey, you should talk to my mom because um, they're looking for an intern in their logistics department. So got that job through Northwood kind of as well. Um, my second internship was at Cox Automotive and that was in Lean Six Sigma. And I moved out to Georgia. So that was like the best experience in the world. Um, when I've traded that for a minute. So that was like my personal favorite internship. And then my last summer here, I just had a virtual internship this summer with Dow as a supply chain intern. And that was an amazing experience, especially because a lot of Northwood students um, do intern at Dow. And for me to have that um, experience virtually was amazing. So I've had really good experiences. So all thanks to Northwood on the internships for sure. <laughs> Great. And let's, uh, Dakota, you also had um, a really cool internship after your freshman year. Tell me a little bit about, one, how you got it so quickly, and two, what was it like? Well, I got my internship also thanks to Northwood like Taylor did. I went to a symposium because my professor highly recommended it. He gave us extra credit to come out to symposium to meet some internship opportunities and other employers. So I was able to work at a baseball field this summer, surprisingly enough with COVID going on, but it was Jimmy John's baseball field in Utica, Michigan. I was able to be a marketing intern over there, but it was definitely a great experience. I was able to be in-game host. I was on the microphone talking to fans, talking to some of the players. It was definitely a great experience for me. That's awesome. Yeah, one thing you'll see, again, Northwood students, for some reason, we don't know how we how everyone ends up in the same spot, but everyone's very dedicated, we're passionate, and we're, we're on the ball. We're ready to, ready to get running in our careers and to build our resume right after our freshman year. Um, and you'll hear from Northwood Career Advancement a little bit later in this session. But we did get a few other questions in. Um, one of them says, are most students a part of clubs or organizations? So Amy, you are in a lot of clubs and organizations, so you interact at least with a lot of students. What's the general consensus on, on students being engaged? Um, so, well, they're called RSOs, Registered Student Organizations. Um, there you just find your niche, um, to be completely honest. Um, I'm a part of Students for Sustainability, um, Black Student Union. I'm a part of the SAFE um, organization on campus, the International Student Organization. There are plenty to choose from. Um, even if there isn't an organization on campus that you would like to join, I think you only need three other individuals, an advisor, and you can start your own art. Whether it be, I know we have a Nerf Gun Club on campus, we have a skiing club. Um, so it's all about what you want and what you want to pursue. But yes, most students are involved. And a lot of students are involved just because of the fact that it helps build your resume. Some clubs, it helps you to relax and get to know new students. We have a group called Emerging Leaders, which is actually a freshman only club, and they're led by sophomores who just went through that same program. So they help you get used to your classes. They show you about the different departments at Northwood. So it's groups like these that really are just so beneficial for you. We got another question from Caden and he asks, how did you adjust from high school to college? Was the workload different than high school and how did you deal with that? So for that question, let's go ahead and uh, ask Austin if we can. Yeah, definitely, it was, a, it was a big adjustment. I think my junior year of high school, I was, I was honestly ready to go. Uh, I kind of mentally started preparing myself senior year experience of college. I did have a, I have an older brother that was a junior when I was going my freshman year. So he gave me some tips and tricks, but honestly, it, I would say is to not, like try not to procrastinate. Uh, the workload will catch up to you. Uh, if you get ahead of your workload and you take care of your stuff right when it comes out, uh, you will benefit it from so much more than waiting till the last minute. Um, but the overall adjustment isn't that difficult adjustment to make, but overall, once you get situated, uh, especially at Northwood, uh, you feel right at home almost immediately. I think it was like two weeks that would be, uh, yeah, and my parents begged me to come home almost every weekend, and I, I refuse to. I, I want to be at Northwood all the time, every week. 
Agreed, absolutely. Um, but that's a really good transition to another question we got from Lauren. She asks, is Northwood difficult, in particular the classes and the homework? Furthermore, how do you time manage? So Austin, you already touched a little bit about the time management piece, but Taylor, I think you'd be a perfect example to tell us your thoughts on if Northwood's difficult, because again, you're very actively involved, you are in a lot of classes, you've had experience here at Northwood for quite a while now. Tell us a little bit more. So at least for me, like transitioning to college, um, in high school, it came easy to me. So um, college was a little bit at first, a little more difficult, um, but because it is so small, like I mentioned earlier, you don't have to really like put in so much time and effort into learning because you are getting that like one-on-one -on -one learning experience in the classroom. Um, so for me, like the learning aspect isn't hard at all and it allows me to do things like John was saying. So I, um, at least last year I was working two jobs on campus at the same time. I'm involved in probably five or six clubs. I'm on three different e-boards um, and I'm always doing something, giving tours, uh, anything like that. And I don't think that there's ever been like issues with time management. I mean, if you're somebody who, I mean, has a planner or just has a notebook, um, it's been easy for me just to adapt and change. And Northwood students are all the same. Um, we kind of all get this system and this rhythm. So you're surrounding yourself with people who think the same and do the same. and are all leaders and we all want to grow and so we're here to help each other and I feel like any club of that I'm in they all support me in anything I do outside of that organization so um, working for admissions I get support in all my other organizations and vice versa and so it's just things like that I think that make the difference and make it an easy college experience um, outside of the classroom and within the classroom as well for sure. Great. Uh, another question we got, um, and I'll have both Amy and Dakota just do one or two word answers on this because this is pretty simple. Someone was saying that they've been to campus. So first off, awesome. Thanks for coming to visit. We are open for in-campus visit or in-person visits using COVID-19 protocol. Um, but they're asking favorite places to study other than the dorm room. Um, so again, Dakota and Amy. Definitely DeVos, hands down. Right on that. <laughs> Yeah, DeVos is a, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's skipping for me, but DeVos is one of the best places to study. Um, favorite place to hang out right now in the amphitheater. I'm actually trying to learn how to skate on quads. So. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, thank you for that. Um, I see a few other questions here. Um, one of them I'm gonna table just for the time being. It's what are what if you are indecisive between two majors, how can Northwood help with being clear on a career pathway? Um, so one thing I will say on that question, that is a great question that a lot of students have. Um, I will have, I'll probably have Taylor touch on it just really, really quick. But following this, we are going to have um, our career advancement and internship coordinator, Deborah Schumer. She'll talk a little bit about that um, in, in some of the things she's going to mention. So Taylor, real quick in a, in a sentence or two, if someone's nervous between picking two majors, what are your recommendations? I was definitely in this position going into college because I came to Northwood as an aftermarket, automotive aftermarket major. Um, and because we are so small and the classes we take are pretty similar to each other, um, I was able to switch right into the supply chain program and not be a step behind um, because I love the supply chain aspects of the automotive industry. So if you're indecisive and you come to Northwood, it's really easy to adapt and to change in the um, advancement office and everybody is so great with helping you switch and working on your schedule and like John said they'll touch on it later too but um, there should be no issues or no worries if you come in and it's not for you or you come in and you love it then that's perfect so um, there'll be no issues in switching majors or being indecisive and you can always wait to choose to and come in as undecided. Absolutely. Um, we do have time for just a few more quick questions here, and if we don't get to them right now, I promise we'll get to them at the end um, of our session here. Uh, but one of the really good ones that I thought was, why should a student choose to go to Northwood versus another university? Um, and I'd love to hear, again, with like 20 second answers, just because we're a little bit short on time from each person, kind of what you think makes Northwood different from other universities. So let's start with Dakota, then to Taylor, and then to Austin, and then I'll also chime in as well, since I think Amy was having some connection issues. I would say I like Northwood better just because you jump right into your major. So if you do have the difficulty in choosing your major, it's easy to find out if you really like it like your first year instead of waiting until say your sophomore or junior year to find out what you really like. For me, I think it was like knowing my professors and knowing the faculty around me. 
Um, if you want to go, like my friends who go to different schools think it's hilarious that I know the president and that I work with the deans. And I think that's like a difference is you're getting a whole family when you come to Northwood. Just to touch on to Taylor's point, yeah, the connection with your teachers is so close. Uh, I actually gave my one of my professors, Professor Wong, a haircut last semester. <laughs> but just to add on, uh, the Midland community is great. Downtown Midland's beautiful, and it's a great like escape from Northwood. Great, and then for me, you know, this place, this place, honestly, is just so it, it's different. I don't know how. I really don't know how to put it in words. Um, it's a very entrepreneurial based environment. It's very odd to find students who want to have three internships and and start targeting and getting jobs confirmed in before they start their senior year. Um, I'm in our BBA MBA program. So the fact that I could get my BBA in three years and then my master's in a final year is something that not a lot of other schools offer. And it's a good education. Um, all of our professors have have that real world experience. They're not they're going to show you the textbook and show you the theory, but they're going to do a lot to to show you how it applies to the real world. And all of that combined is truly what makes Northwood a really special place. So we are getting some more questions in. Let's go ahead and save those until the end of the session, and then we'll bring our panel back in along with a few other guests who can chime on to a few of those as well. So Dakota, Taylor, Austin, and Amy, until she was <laughs> dropping off due to some connection issues, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it.